Wales last time around and made a big difference from an attacking perspective will start here. Some people might argue this is the preferred starting 11. Zuzana Valentova blows her whistle. Trina Gilyu. The whistle eventually blown. Cannoning that off her hand. As Haley Long mistimed that. Barker there to clean it up though. And Olivia McDaniel. Clearance not too far away, but Savitsky relieves the pressure. At one point, almost invited pressure on themselves. Let's take a look at this here. As Davidson was bearing down on goal. As Smith has successfully run into that. Low ball played in. But then the connection that they needed wasn't there for Thomas. Martha Thomas, 20 appearances. This being her 21st, 10 goals already for Scotland. She's listed as a player for Manchester United. Another look at that. Again, take a look at the size disadvantage Katrina Gilyu has. Let's take a look at this opportunity again. That's the missed one coming from Martha Thomas. Tian is trying to hold on to it here. An acrobatic attempt trying to find Kinley Quesada on the right-hand side, but the flag will be up. Look at this again. Just trying to put it into a dangerous situation. And Kinley Quesada probably was not expecting the first game for the Filipinas of 2023. Egishvik unable to win possession there. But Thomas will not get a chance of playing it forward, trying to find the run Serena Bolden. But the ball falls harmlessly to Fife. Katrina Gilyu trying to find that through ball there. Dianis trying to muscle her way into possession. Serena Bolden back to Anis, playing it forward to Katrina Gilyu! Or directed past the outstretched body of Fife. Let's take a look at this again. Tianis, great ball forward. And Katrina Gilyu unable to get a decisive touch to take it away from Fife. As the Filipinas midfield were trying their best to stop it. And there it is a clear offside. No need for VAR for that. Again, trying to find Grimshaw. Grimshaw has been getting more and more into this game. Davidson, the ball forward and that will fall in. The opener for Scotland from distance. The low shot getting past Olivia McDaniel. So let's see what happened here. Davidson driving it in here. The left footed shot took a bounce right in front of Olivia McDaniel. Now. Murray. Trying to get the better of Harrison here. The ball again to Olivia McDaniel, but this time able to save it. Murray, that's a look there looking for Smith and Egishvik doing just enough to apply pressure. Take a look at Katrina Gilyu's pass here to Tianis. And T just unable to control that. All of our national teams and especially in a football mad region like in Europe, over in Spain, you have people flying over from London. And a chance here from Scotland once more. They do have the numbers. Can they find the right pass? They do. But that time, the shot just wide left. That one coming from Christy Grimshaw. Good find here coming from Thomas. As Grimshaw... This one played low, and Haley Long got the touch to bring it away. Played long, and a lot of blue shirts flooding forward. He's here. Well, either way, that one will fall into the back of the net. May have bounced off the body. Make inroads down the right hand flank. Hansen.
Tries to get a shot off. Haley Long got in the way. Weir! And with the introduction of Weir and Hansen into the field, Scotland have looked a lot more dangerous moving forward. Foul from Bonta was given as an advantage. Weir trying to reverse it. And almost a uh, miscue there from the Philippines' back line. Sure that it just goes out wide of goal. Let's take a look at that once more. As Weir put that. Weir playing it forward. Great run here that Scotland are trying to make. Hansen could not make the connection. You could hear the groans in the venue. As we're having a lot of joy down the middle with Egishvik and Savisky holding things down. But here's a chance now. Egishvik going all the way by herself. Unable to get the right connection here. You can see her looking up and seeing an opportunity for American friendlies. Let's see if that type of magic still exists. Because Egishvik standing over this one alongside Mero Serrano. Egishvik, good ball in. A teasing ball in. And Haley Long was a target. And Haley Long hits the deck. Our countrymen asking for a penalty that won't be given. But let's take a look at this again. The impact. Haley colliding with Fife. And Freeless could not connect with Flanagan. But Flanagan with an opportunity here. And eventually run over. That will be a free kick in a dangerous area. The first real opportunity for the Filipinas. Four in the wall for Scotland. And as I say that, two more players come in. There's a foul there from Clark as Bella Flanagan. Serrano. Serrano scores for the Philippines. And can late drama happen here at the Pinatar Cup? Right before any added time, the Filipinas break their goal-scoring duck here in the Pinatar Cup. Hit low, hit hard. Five. Could not do anything about it. They're not just there to just get one goal. But Serrano drops them a lifeline. Again, hit low, hit hard. And that'll do it. As Scotland... Take down the Philippines. Two goals to one. A late consolation goal from El Serrano is what gave the Philippines a lot to cheer about. But then Scotland first through a first half goal coming from Davidson. And the second half goal coming from Rachel Corsi. Means they see off the challenge of the Philippines. And redeem themselves from a 2-0 loss against Iceland in their opening game at the Pinatar Cup. For the Filipinas, it's two losses already. In the two games that they have played, 1-0 against Wales and now 2-1 against Scotland. But things to build for here for the Philippines. After getting their opening goal of the tournament, they're going to be looking for more. Thank you for joining us here.